<laughs> Fumiko Fe. Fuminori Tsutsiko is 75 years old Japanese man. He sold everything that he had in Japan and came to support Ukrainian people in the war. About six months ago he moved for good to Kharkiv. He lived in the metro underground together with about 200 people, afraid of Russian rockets hitting city every day. One day, one eat, one meal. Many, many hungry and many many bad condition and the older man is sleeping and sick many many i came to you here and first natalia and <laughs> natasha natalia is fumi's assistant she has been one of the Kharkiv citizens hiding under the ground for about 10 months <laughs> We lived there uh, not because we wanted. This war put us all there. Now I think humans can resist and survive every circumstance. This difficult situation brought us together, one help to the other, and now we are keep continuing to do that. <laughs> Fumi and Natalia two weeks ago opened in Saltivka in Kharkiv a free restaurant for the people damaged by the war. Every day from 12 to 3 p.m. they serve hot meals, coffee and tea to everyone who show up. Usually it's about 600 people a day. Kharkiv many many people and very very hungry, very very poor, not at work, not money. And this... Um, Fumi Cafe, free. Every day, every day, every day, every day. Every people, one time, one eat this hot soup and many, many foods, children and babushka, many, many came here, very good. Fumi, before he started to help, he had no experience at all with cooking. I <laughs> cooking and uh, scrambled egg and... Uh, <laughs> but Natasha is very good every making and this make and very cheap price very good in Fumi Cafe people can eat Ukrainian borscht, pieroshki with potatoes and some other typical Ukrainian cuisine unfortunately for Fumi there is no Japanese food <laughs> Japanese food this <laughs> Japanese curry, oh. <laughs> India curry, oh. very very spicy. This every people not to eat. I'm on it. This many many. But there is always something for children. For me, it's always. Fumi is always welcoming kids. He usually has some toys or sweets for them. So I cook for the people and he is caring for the children. Fumi Cafe is located near Saltivka, one of the biggest living districts in Europe before the war. Currently destroyed buildings were a home for about 400,000 Ukrainian people. Most of them escaped in the first days of the war. We cook for refugees, poor people, invalids and for everyone who needs our support. Sometimes we give the food away for the people who are too old or too sick to come over. The neighbors feed them. Fumi has no plans to go back to Japan. This war is end over and Ukrainian win very good and this but this war is end but many many house is apartment broken and many many and in in and road and many many Destroy. Mm. Children's school is not go to not uh, children's school is 
first destroyed. And I'm dead. No problem here. Are, are you not afraid? And Russian bombs? Mm -hmm. not. Oh. <laughs> I'm not here. Hit. <laughs> no problem. I'm 75 years old. And my life is and live. But this, I'm and at work every day, every day, and very good. Very good. This story was made in Kharkiv by Piotr Kashuvara.